Hi everyone, Mimi Smirrels here. Just finished a three-day project. This one's going to take a little explaining. This is Salt Therapy of Georgia, which is um, a therapy clinic for people with respiratory issues and asthma and things like that, um, where you actually get treatments where you breathe in salted air. And this is the kids' room. Let's start at the door. And the top of the walls are done in salt. And it's this awesome technique where it's applied directly to the walls. And then the pink over here is actually Himalayan sea salt and that is the actual color of the salt, the pink. Now everything below the railing here is me. Okay, so now that you know that, we'll start over. <laughs> um, this corner will get two chairs and a nice serene view. And as you can see, the crown molding was done in the shape of a mountain, so of course I continued it. And as you can see also, the, sal the salt mountain then continues onto my mural. Same here, salt, and then my mural. Okay, so that's that. And of course we've got Owl, and he's saying shh, because it's supposed to be a nice, calm, relaxing environment. Here's Tigger. And then there's a sconce up here, and I added a little butterfly. Okay, throughout the room are flowers and grasses. There's a little scenery. Salt is life. And as you can see, piglets bouncing around. Okay, and as you spin around this section over here, we'll get a kid's table. And the whole floor is going to be salt, and I'll show you the next room in a second. Um, and so the kids can actually play with like dump trucks and buckets and stuff in the actual salt, which is kind of like a gravel. Uh, here you have Mickey, and then I love how Goofy's peeping around the corner. So there he is. Some detail for you. Mickey, Minnie, and then as you spin the rest of the way around the room, on this wall here we have Winnie the Pooh characters. This is actually the same pink that was used um, to match the Himalayan sea salt, so I did that throughout, included in the flowers, and that kind of pulls everything together as well. There's Winnie the Pooh, and there's Rabbit. Um, this is a fun technique, and it seems I'm doing it a lot lately, the um, black outlining, which I used to be scared to death of because it takes a really steady hand and a nice flowing paint, but um, I've perfected it. Okay, and then as you spin around, here's Kanga. Oh, he's my favorite. And Linda, the owner, was really... Um, really trusting and really just said, I trust you do whatever you want. So I was given a lot of liberties. So we had a basic plan and because it was a three day, by the end of day one, I was reassessing and adding some things. Like these guys um, I came up with on, I knew I was gonna do trees, but then when I decided to do Tigger over here, um, cause I found the image that I was like, okay, gotta do it. And then on this side, this is the built-in shelving that'll hold all of the um, kids' toys. And we put George over here. And then also, oh, and he wraps up over, oop, onto the top. <laughs> and then over here too, you'll see just little tiny details. There's a little ladybug on the shelves. Oops, can you see that? There you go. Okay, so now that you've kind of seen the whole room, this is salt, <laughs> that'll be the floor. I'm just gonna swing over to the adult room just so you can see how cool it is. And it's super dark, but this is just kind of the way it is. Um, it's supposed to be really relaxing. And they did this awesome, these are salt bricks that are backlit, aren't those beautiful? And then these are like inverting um, chairs that you recline in and you just really relax and it's really quiet and um, the air with the atomized salt is pumped in while you listen to music and relax. Okay, so now that you've seen that, this room is only this bright because of my lights. 
Um, it only has a small light and two little sconces on dimmers. And there you have it. This was a chock full three day mural. Tons of characters. One true focal point. But then as you're in the room you discover lots of fun little features. All kept at kid friendly heights. And there you have it. Bye.